Hello. In this video, we are going to take a look at another uh, filter, which is the state variable filter. Uh, it is not a Butterworth filter, it's just a, a different type of filter, but it is also interesting in the sense that the state variable filter achieves basically a uh, low pass filter, high pass filter, and a band pass filter all in the same circuit. Um, it, depending on where we take the output, it will determine what type of filter we get, whether a low pass, a high pass, or a band pass. So um, here is the uh, schematic for the normalized version of the two pole state variable filter. You can see it consists of three op amps. And as I mentioned, if you take the output out of the first op amp, you will get a high pass filter type of response. If you get it at the end of the third op amp, you will get a low pass filter. And if you get it in the middle, you'll get the pan pass filter. Um, the low pass filter has a corresponding gain of negative one. High pass filter has a corresponding gain of negative one, and the pan pass gain uh, will be the value of Q, which you can see is set by this resistor RQ of value three Q minus one. Um, notice also that there are certain resistors, um, and I label them in a different color. Here it says these resistors are used for bias compensation only and do not contribute to the filter response, and those are the ones marked with an asterisk. And as you can imagine, they are uh, those uh, two lonely resistors. Those are uh, bias bias compensation resistors. So that's for the two-pole state variable filter. Uh, we can generate state variable filters that have more poles than two uh, and, and less poles than two as well. Here we have uh, the one pole sections for the state variable filter. Uh, the first column, A and B, are the low pass filter sections. The second column, A and B, are the high pass filter sections. So this will be the low pass filter sections, those will be the high pass filter sections. I notice that you have different ones. Uh, the one for the DC gain of plus one, DC gain of minus one, passband gain of plus one, passband gain of minus one. And then, uh, based on that, based on the two pole and the one pole sections, we can um, essentially generate the state variable filters of different order uh, by using this table. So tabulated just like before. So for a uh, two pole filter, basically the value of Q that was determining that resistor, uh, resistor 3Q minus 1 down here. The value of Q will be 0 0.7071. For a, th a third order filter, you will need a required one pole section and a two pole section with a Q value of 1. For uh, a fourth order, you will need uh, two two-pole sections, fifth order, one one-pole section, and um, two two-pole sections, etc. You can see that it follows the same line as the Butterworth filter, where for um, an order of filter that is even, you basically are combining two-pole sections, and for an order of filter that is odd, you will be combining a one-pole section and um, however many needed two pole sections. So with that, I think that we are ready to uh, go ahead and design a state variable filter. I'm going to go ahead and already uh, do it on top of this schematic to my calculations there so that they stay close. Uh, first of all, I'm going to know that for, let's imagine I'm designing a, a second order filter, so I'm just using the two pole state variable filter. Uh, my Q from the table is equal to 0 0.7071, so I can just enter that here. I'm going to say Q is equal to 0 0.7071, and therefore my RQ, which is 3Q minus 1, is equal to 1.1213 in this case. And so just like before, uh, I'm going to perform my frequency scaling. So my KF, my Frequency scaling factor is going to be equal to omega prime over omega. And let's imagine that I wanted my final cutoff frequency FC prime to be 1 kilohertz for this filter. So I will just do 2 pi times 1k. 
divided by 1 is equal to 6283.2, basically. Uh, then let's imagine that I chose my um, C prime to be equal to 16 nanofarads. And since I know that C prime is equal to C divided by KF, KR, I can figure out uh, my KR from here, which will be equal to C divided by KF times C prime, or 1 divided by uh, 6283.2 times, I'm not going to enter uh, the values, otherwise they're going to take too much room, but basically uh, C, which will be equal to 1 divided by KF, 6283.2, times C prime, which is 16 nano. And that gives me 10 to the 4. So that means that my um, R prime will be equal to 10 to the 4 uh, times R, which is 1, which is basically 10 kilo ohms. Except more for my RQ, of course, which will be 10 to the 4 times 1.1213 and therefore equal to 11.213 kilo ohms <laughs> and so basically uh, what my design will be to generate a, a second order state variable filter with a cutoff frequency of one kilohertz it will be uh, this circuit where every resistor of value one is replaced with uh, 10k Resistor RQ is replaced with 11.213K. And uh, my capacitors are replaced with 16 nanofarads. There are two of them uh, in the feedback loops of the, of the second and third op amps. And so that has, that's how I will go about designing a state variable filter. So it helps us uh, become familiar with an interesting type of filter for what I just mentioned. It has uh, a low pass, high pass, and band pass output. But also it helps us hopefully see that the design of higher order filters is going to be very similar no matter which uh, topology we choose. Um, there will typically is going to be uh, tabulated values for the components of the normalized circuit and then there's going to be some um, standard normalized circuits that can be combined to generate higher order filters. Thank you.